Hi guys, it's uh, NM Gafour with the Sony Xperia S. Uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is showing you how to unlock the bootloader on your smartphone so you can eventually root the device. But for this video, we're only going to be showing you how to unlock the bootloader. Now, the prerequisites for this are that you need to have a certain model number uh, in order to do this. Although this will work on most Sony devices, if you want to eventually root your phone, um, only do it if the model number comes up as LT26i ok so that's LT26i the unlocking process will work on your device as long as and I'll show you if you go to your dialer first and type in this code I will put a link in the description to this code that's star hash star hash Seven, three, seven, eight, four, two, three. Hash star hash star. It'll take you to the service menu. So from the service menu, if you go to service info, and then to configuration, you can see it says routing status bootloader unlock allowed colon yes. If that says no, you can't unlock your bootloader and thus you won't be able to root your device later on. So prerequisites are uh, in order to root your phone, LT26i to be the model number and where it says routing status that needs to say yes in the service menu. As I say, I will put the code for the service menu in the description. So if you've got those to begin with, you're ready to go. Now what you need to do is first of all turn your phone off and we're going to load into the fast boot menu now obviously when you normally connect your phone uh, to your computer uh, will the, your computer would have already installed the drivers for it but for the fast boot menu uh, there are another set of drivers so chances are those haven't been installed as the phone's off we'll just uh, go into fast boot mode and what you do is uncover the cover for the USB so that's ready to click in um, press the volume up rocker and keep it pressed down uh, on the device and then while it's still pressed down keep it pressed down um, and insert the USB cable from your computer to your machine you can see there it says so, uh, the blue light is on meaning that um, fast boot is enabled so we'll just move over to the computer and it comes up with this before we go over the blue light goes out and uh, the Sony logo comes up. As we plugged in uh, the, the device, the blue light goes out after a couple of seconds and then you'll notice on your computer screen in the bottom right hand corner where you get the digital clock, you get a little bubble there stating that uh, the device driver's installation failed, which is absolutely normal because we haven't installed the fast boot drivers as yet. So I've downloaded the drivers, uh, I've placed them on the desktop, and there's the zip file. Okay, what we're going to do is, I will put a link in the description of where you can get these from. Don't be worried if it mentions the Sony Ar Xperia Arc drivers, the drivers are still the same, it's from the, still, it's from the same brand, it's from the same manufacturer, so the drivers are still the same for this one. So all you do is, I'm going to extract those to the desktop. Okay, so I'll just move the zip file over and there's a folder that's extracted. Now what you need to do is m click inside of it and just make sure that you unzip both the, the driver's files and the fast, with, fast boot with Android USB file. Okay, extract those to both the, inside the folder. So now when you click inside of the, the folder that we put on our desktop, you'll notice two zipped files and two regular folders which are the same versions of the zipped files. Okay, So we'll get, close that down. Again, I'd still recommend that you leave it on your desktop just for ease of use. Now we get ready for the next steps by clicking on start and then on computer. I'm using Windows 7 so it doesn't say my computer. We'll right click on computer, go down to properties when the window loads we'll, on the top left of the window we'll click on device manager and close down the system window behind it 
there we go now we're ready for the next step so what's going to happen is we'll go remove the USB lead from the phone again plug it back in going into fast boot mode and if you notice you'll notice in this area there'll be another section that will pop up which will say other devices and it will say S1 boot fast boot we'll right click on it do upload update drivers and then select the folder that we put on our desktop now that's what's going to happen step by step so if we try it out unplug the phone so the green light goes out and then press the volume up rocker keep it held down insert the USB cable so you get the blue lights so it's going on to fast boot mode there we go we've got the S1 boot fast boot so update the drivers by selecting the folder on our desktop and then hit next and then it's saying installing driver software now it'll give you two options for don't install or install the drivers anyway because the, the verifier can't be the publisher sorry can't be verified so we install them anyway and then it says installing drivers windows successfully updated to driver software and it gives you what is called now android adb interface click close and then it will update the device device manager um, we're done with this now so we can come out of that so X out of it you'll notice on the phone the blue light goes out pretty quick but now that we've installed the drivers if you unplug the phone by USB so the green light goes out press the volume up rocker keep it held down insert the USB and you should notice a, that the fast boot light stays on and then your computer comes up with installing device driver software and doesn't error out this time that's what should happen okay now that's the first step that the fast boot drivers are installed the next step is now that the fast boot drivers have been installed we just want to check that the phone is communicating with the, the computer because just because the blue light is on the phone and stays on that doesn't necessarily mean it can communicate with it so double click on the folder that we created on the desktop go and then go into fast boot with android usb file folder that we extracted go into there and then click on fast boot okay and you'll see the fast boot to exe on your keyboard hold down shift right click an empty space within this folder then click on open command window here okay so now this will this command window is opened up to that location and what you need to do is type in a command which I've got on a notepad file on the screen next to the command prompt window and uh, you can either type it in or because that runs a risk of mistakes while you type it in what you can do is just highlight all of it right click copy it and then on the black command prompt window in the top left you've got a small command prompt icon there you can see where the mouse is right click that go down to edit and then paste and then it pastes it in exactly hit enter and then gives you a version number and a finished as in a total time that it's taken to connect to the phone if it says anything other than a time it will say something like waiting for device if it doesn't connect in which case that means there's a problem with your drivers um, so I'd recommend deleting those and then starting over again and seeing if you can get a time so that's connected fine now the folder that we placed on our desktop called Xperia Unlock Xperia Arc Bootloaders and just double click on it and then you'll notice there's a URL link in there called unlockbootloader.sonyericsson.com double click it now it'll go through the same steps that we went through already so go scroll to the bottom and click on start unlocking bootloader takes you to the next page and it literally is what we've already been through by going through the service menu uh, making sure the bootloader says yes on the phone um, installing the drivers and then checking to see if the phone can communicate with uh, the computer by typing in that get of our version command okay now click continue at the bottom just to go forward and it basically says are you really sure you want to do this yes we're sure because we want to root the phone eventually and this is the, the first step that we need to go through to get to rooting it so yes I'm sure and it gives you the legal bump of what you're doing obviously this voids, or voids the warranty so what you do is create the unlock request 
so you type in your name so I'm gonna just type in my name there the IME number if you don't have the the box that the phone came with and uh, to quickly get the IME number what you can do is just remove the phone from the computer um, remove the USB cable and boot it back up as normal okay once you get to the the normal login screen and you need to get the uh, IME number so this is going to be about 14 digits so go to the phone dialer again and type in star hash zero six hash and then there you go it displays the IME number on the screen make a note of the IME number okay and then just turn the phone off again once the phone powers off do the same thing as before just get into fast boot mode so volume up rocker hold that down and then insert USB cable brilliant that's now connected as you made a note of the IME number just type that into the IME box on the website there so you've typed in your name just type in the IME number I'm simply just going to copy and paste it because I just typed into notepad and then type in your email address once you've got your email address there just hit submit it does display a message at the top saying that IME must be exactly 14 characters long you may have uh, some of the IME numbers if you've still got the box if you look at those have a dash something at the end so you may just have to remove the, the one character at the end and then just hit submit and there you go that's gone through make a note of the key to unlock the bootloader I'm just going to keep it on my notepad file there right now we've got the unlock code what we need to do is type in another command into the black DOS prompt window okay but again it can get fairly complicated so I'm gonna put a link in the description of where you can just copy it straight from and it will say something along the lines of fastboot.exe space i sorry hyphen i space 0 x 0 foxtrot charlie echo space oscar echo mike space unlock space 0 x and then key so kilo echo yankee in uppercase characters now at this string of text that we need to type in what we're going to do is replace the word key at the end with the the unlock code that the website gave us so just delete the word key and then copy in there we go copy in the unlock code as we did there and just as we did previously before just highlight the entire text right click copy and then in the black dust prompt window in the top left of it where you got the little along the title bar right uh, along the top left edge you can see the little miniature icon on the dust prompt right click on it go down to edit and then paste and it pastes it in exactly then hit enter and then it goes through bootloader unlock phone request OK 1.434 seconds finished total time and then gives you time and that's done that's unlocked the bootloader on your Sony Xperia S smartphone it's not totally straightforward but if you follow the the video and if you get stuck on anything just rewind it back and watch it again that's how you unlock the bootloader on your Sony Xperia S smartphone now the next video is we'll show you how to root it because we can't root the phone without unlocking a bootloader as it's a fairly new smartphone any questions or comments please put those below hit subscribe from the button up top there it doesn't cost you anything it's free and you can just check out what I'm up to every now and again thanks for watching have a good day and goodbye